Oh, so, so here's this short, extremely powerful clip. Then we're going to come back with more. Um, when I mention our names, like Mrs. Merkel, um, even uh, Vladimir Putin and so on, they all have been young global leaders of the World Economic Forum. Mm -hmm. But um, what we are very proud of now is the young generation, like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, um, President of, Pres of uh, Argentina and so on, that we penetrate the cabinets. So yesterday I was at a, rece at a reception for Prime Minister Trudeau, and I would know that half of this cabinet, or even more half of, uh, half of this cabinet, are for our uh, actually young global leaders of the world economy right. form. That's true in Argentina as well. It's true in Argentina, and uh, it's true in France now. Mm -hmm. I'm here with the president, who is a young global leader, but... If you're live, we've linked to it again at Infowars.com in the live show feed area. You can go watch this for yourself, where he's describing their alumni, not just being the prime ministers and presidents, but having the majority of the cabinets being their people and being believers in the transhumanism, world government, depopulation agenda. This is a death cult. And that's why whether it's Merkel or whether it is Macron or whether it is Leonardo DiCaprio, they're all graduates, they tell you the world's ending in 2030 because they plan to trigger events to blame on the general public and global warming that lead to that depopulation. So that's why I'm so desperate to warn you about this. Now let's go back to 2004 in a short clip from one of my documentaries where we run into David Gergen on the streets of New York at the RNC and bring up Skull and Bones and Bohemian Grove that is the sexual side of this and that binds them together in the cult. So here's a few minutes from 911 Martial Law, and then we'll go back to Owen Schroer in a live broadcast, and I hope you research all this yourself and share it. While in New York, we ran into the Carl Rove of four administrations. David Gergen, top presidential advisor to Ford, Reagan, George Herbert Walker Bush, and Bill Clinton. We're talking to David Gergen, and he has advised several presidents and, of course, has uh, written quite a few uh, books and uh, is a... I would call you a political pundit or researcher. Commentary at over the hill, whatever. What do you think of this circus? Well, I haven't seen all the protests yet, but I've never seen as much security for a convention as we have here. There's been a lot of uh, news articles and reports saying that there's a heightened risk of terror attacks. Uh, do you think that that's? Uh, do you think there's a chance of that? Or? Yeah, I think it's very real danger, and you've got uh, Madison Square Garden is sitting right, you know, basically on top of a. Uh, train station and Boston uh, convention was right on top of a train station. Yeah, I just have to remember that trains are very uh, accessible, vulnerable. Okay, one last question. I read a Washington Times article many years ago where you had a comment about the organization and then now it's been in the Wall Street Journal, it's been in a lot of different newspapers and that's the Bohemian Grove. And back in, what was it, 19... Uh, 96 when you joined uh, as a Clinton advisor they were the Republicans were criticizing you oh what about Bohemian Grove and then you countered them by saying hey I don't run around in the woods naked what did that mean I, I don't I don't know what I don't know what quote you're referring to I'm not aware of any quote like that uh, listen uh, I am a, a, a happy member of the Bohemian Grove I like the, the folks who come there and uh, it's really inappropriate for me to uh, talk about a uh, uh, the group beyond that thank you have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, frankly, that's, uh, that, uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Well, I'm Alex Jones, and I snuck in there in 2000. I'm the guy that blew it wide open and got the video. It's been on national TV. Well, I disrespect you for that. You do? I do. But it's a lot of big public officials going in there. You don't took, we deserve to know? You, you took an under, I don't know anything about you, and I don't know anything about your film. But if you go in there with an understanding, you violated that understanding by releasing that film, and I don't respect you for that. Really? But you, we have public officials. You, I'm there, sorry. So you policy. took an understanding when you went in there that you would not do that film. And you did, did you have an understanding when you went in there? No. Did you crash it? Yes. Yeah, and it has no trespassing signs there too, doesn't it? No, they put them yes, up after. Oh, I'm I sorry. I just walked in. I'm sorry, sir. I've been there before. I know what I want the circumstances are, and I'm sorry you uh, violated the understandings. That was not that was not a gentlemanly thing to do. But what about the ritual? Is the ritual gentlemanly? <laughs> Sir, 
sir. Everything. I, they, you, I, I, don't, I don't owe you this comment. I oh, know. You, 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 you have. You. This is what's called ambush journalism, and I disrespect you for that as well. So thank have you, you ever and goodbye. Been in the ritual? That's none of your damn business. Oh. That's oh. right. Listen, oh. listen. You go around and and make understandings with people and violate them. You you ambush people on the streets when that's that's inappropriate form of journalism.